My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Happy Number 2. It is Monday. It's about to be over because it's, um, I don't know what time it is, but I'm pretty sure wrestling's about to go off. Okay, it's 10 minutes to 11, so wrestling is about to go off. And this is my last video for tonight. So, here's how this is going to work. I want to talk about inspiration and friends and family. So let's call this giving me strength. So this weekend, if I haven't posted it, I probably have posted it, but I don't know if I have or not. I um, tried the video blog with, with my friend's hammock, and it broke, and I wound up on my ass, which really hurts, still hurts to this day. Of course, that could be from the field trip that I went on with my niece today to get a bloody pumpkin, and we had fun at the Lazy S farm. S, like as in snake, not ass. Because when I first heard it, I was like totally fabricated. It's like, it's one of those, um, those, uh, idiosyncrasies, I guess that's what you call them, where it says lazy ass farm. But what I heard was lazy ass farm. And I was like, they're taking a kid to the lazy ass farm? What the hell is that? Well, anyway, it's called the lazy S farm. S is in Susan, or Sue, or Sam, or spending money. Anyway, it was a great journey. The hay wire cart was a little bit tighter than it probably needed to be, but other than that, it was a great day. My ass cheek fell asleep quite some time. Now, back to what I was saying. So this weekend, my Friday night was pretty good. My Saturday was pretty good. I didn't get to binge watch. I still have to do that, so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Got to binge watch until I have to go to work and try to get all this stuff off my TV. <coughs> Provided that nothing goes wrong, it screws up my plan. So, I want to talk about people who have given me strength. My friends and my followers. Maybe one or two members of my family. Maybe. So, you know, I want to tell people that you have to think of people who think of you and put you in places that you need to be or don't want to be and you kind of have to just answer for it as you go along. So in that, you know, there's always some kind of issue somewhere or another, and that you probably have to deal with. But anyway, I had a lot of things, and I met a guy who knows my stepfather in the store. So first, because I can't remember your name, thank you. We were at the store in Palmyra at the what's about to become a roundabout. I want to thank you for not giving up on me, for giving me the strength to carry on. No matter how old I get and how I must keep going. We had a good talk, you know, a really good talk. And I think that people like that is the people that you need in your life. People who give you that positive insight, that drive to make you fight for everything you want to be, for everything you have to be, for everything you need to be. And to that man, I thank you. I'm not going to give up now. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep doing everything I need to do and fake it until I make it until someone out there hears me and gives me a chance to do what I need to do. Tyler Perry, Larry David, whoever. Because I can do all kinds of ranges. I can change my voice and hold it for quite some time. Okay, maybe I can't hold it for quite some time. But when I was younger, I didn't have a lot of friends. So, I used to use G.I. Joe's and change their voices. I could talk like this for the bad guys. I could talk like this for the girls. And I could talk normally for the heroes that were dudes. Now granted, sometimes this is a pain in the throat. But that's what they make water for. Because you can always drink and change your voice back. God, I hope that sounds just like that when I actually play this back. Anyway, so I'm an inspiring actor, graphic novelist, and well, I got the Kung Fu thing down packed. I've been fighting since I was six. The problem is that I have a new hip. And I'm never going to get cleared to do any fighting. So if I can make movies, I probably will be reduced to just using the tiger claw. Or the dragon. Or the snake. Or the crane. That was totally wrong. I didn't have any, like, space to do the damn thing. The mantis. No. Master of all trades. Jack of none. We're Jack of all trades. 
master of none. But I'm not a douchebag full of dick tips. Alright? And no, I don't go commando. But I do do maximum effort. Sometimes I get minimum effect. But anyway, I want to thank all the people who give me the strength to keep going. You have no idea how much strength you have given me. And I have dark times. Lots of them. But we all do. The, the, the trick is how do we acknowledge it? How do we accept it? How do we keep pushing forward? We lean on our friends. We lean on our family. And we look into ourselves. And we just continue to dig as deep as we can until we can't dig any deeper. And then you dig some more. And you never give up. You never quit. Somewhere along the line, someone is going to recognize you. And then the sky's the limits. I'm James William Schinger. This is Comfort Having Number Two. Getting fat. I salute you. Be seeing you.